Hi everyone, welcome to Marika Creations. Today it's time for some vintage Valentine decor DIYs. I'm still going for the old world look. I am obsessed. So I hope you like that too. So let's get started. For my first two DIYs, I will use these frames. I've thrifted them. This uh, smaller one for one euro, about the same in US dollars, and the larger one for one euro fifty. This one does not have a glass, but I don't care about that because I will not use the glass. So I'm taking off the backing and I will start by spray painting these frames in a gold color and here they are all dried and i'm just dry brushing them with some antique gold some black to distress them a bit to get that vintage feel Once dried completely, I go on with my first DIY, it's this bigger frame. Cut out a piece of cardboard like that. This video is part of a Valentine's challenge hosted by Shabby Meets Bling, crafting with Indiana Jones and Apple Night DIY. I have their links down in my description box so go and check them out later and in my description box you will also find a link to the playlist of this challenge for more Valentine's inspiration. I have chosen a creamy velvet fabric, cut it to size and now I'm taking some glue spray and uh, attach it to my cardboard piece like you see me do here. Fold the corners and then I will cut off the corners like that and just press the fabric into place and it's a perfect backdrop for my beautiful Valentine's creation here. Next step is to take this piece of fabric, I just fold it and then I will cut out half a heart and that will give me a beautiful heart, symmetric heart like that, love that with the musical notes you get a vintage feel so I will attach this heart on my velvet backdrop just with the help of some hot glue. Once attached, I will put this lace ribbon around the edges of the heart to get a really nice finish and to make it even prettier. I leave a little extra ribbon on the bottom just for a cute touch. The last thing I will do is to put this key in the center and uh, I have some metal wire that I have curved and now I will just pierce some holes right through that fabric and the cardboard piece on both sides of the key. So once I have them I put my key in place and then I will twist them on the back side and since it's cardboard I also put some hot glue on that wire just to keep it in place. And here I'm touching up the key, give it a little extra a gold touch to it on the edges. I will 
give you a closer look at the end of the video when I show you all my decor pieces that I have created today. Now on to my second DIY with the smaller frame. Here as well as for the other one I just cut out a piece of cardboard to use as my background, my backdrop. And here I have the music notes that I used for the heart in project number one. I want them to be a bit cohesive. Here as well I will attach the fabric to my cardboard piece with some glue spray. And now I'm cutting out a heart in the same kind of cardboard. Here I am attaching some polyfill with some hot glue onto my cardboard heart to make it a bit fluffy, more three-dimensional. And I will cover the heart with some creamy velvet fabric as I used for the backdrop in my first project and I'm just attaching it on the back side of my heart with some hot glue. It doesn't matter what it looks like on the back because it will not show. And I also have some scrap pieces of wood, tiny tiny pieces that I will elevate my heart with, you will see in a moment. But here I'm attaching some lace ribbon as well. If you're new to my channel, hi! I am Marika and on this channel I do lots of DIYs, thrift flips, trash to treasure, an occasional Jew for renovation of my home and I even do some pottery and some painting, anything creative really. Please join me, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and join my YouTube family. As you saw I made a tiny little bow with some lace ribbon and in the center of that bow I will attach a brown little button for that extra touch. Beautiful, super cute. I'll put my backdrop in the frame and then I will just center the heart and attach it with some hot glue like that and the reveal at the end of the video now on to DIY number three and I will take this brown fabric very old world vintage looking I will fold it and then I will draw on the back a half a heart and cut that out and that will give me a heart and the next step is to cut out a second heart the same size On the back of the first heart I will attach a lace ribbon just on the edge. I will leave a little extra on the bottom as you can see just because I think it's beautiful for some ribbon to hang down. And once I'm on the way around I take the second heart and put it on top and hot glue it into place and that lace ribbon will show a little bit. Here I'm leaving a little opening to be able to insert some polyfill. A 
and once I'm happy I take some more hot glue and just close my heart then it's time for a hanger some more of that lace ribbon just with the ends hanging down hot glue it into place looking for a button here as well but before I attach it I will make a tiny bow out of this burgundy colored ribbon hot glue that into place and duck tail the ends and put that button in the center of the bow For my fourth DIY, I will take this metal wire, I will twist it around my water bottle here to create a nice round shape because I will shape it into a heart and leave a little extra on the top to create a hanger. Twist it around on the top there to connect my wire. Just bend it a little bit to get the shape that I'm after. And once I'm happy, I take this thick braided jute ribbon and just twist it around the metal wire. Every now and then I just put a dab of hot glue to keep everything in place. And I work my way around the whole heart, including the hanger. And then I decided to put a creamy colored braided jute ribbon all the way around my heart just leaving some space in between so that jute colored ribbon would show and uh, those ends there I ended up cutting them off but for now a little lace of ribbon around that hanger and a burgundy colored bow and uh, that's it for this little creation well a button I need a button in the center here as well and voila on to DIY number five final one I take some aluminum foil and shape it into a heart like you see me do here because that will be my base and I will take some air dry clay and just roll it out big enough to cover the heart and quite thin and just smooth everything out on the back blend it well with my fingers I will embellish my heart with some ornate pieces so I have this silicone mold and I'm just pressing in more of that air dry clay in these molds and put some all around glue and place it onto my heart and I continue doing that until I'm happy with the number of uh, ornate pieces I want on my heart. Here I decided to put that uh, upper piece, change it out to put it on the side instead. So there we go and I continue on put one more on the other side and then I just need one centerpiece if 
you like this video and videos like this, consider subscribing, maybe share with a friend, hit that like button as well. It will help my channel to grow and I can spend more time creating inspirational content for you. My aim is to upload one video per week. I let my heart dry overnight and here I'm mixing some black into my red acrylic paint to get a burgundy color and I cover the whole heart back and front and I applied two coats to get a really nice coverage. Once dry I go in with my antique gold color and let the ornate bits pop. Beautiful isn't it? Just love how it turns out. Just blending in a little bit of that gold here and there. Still want the burgundy to show. Et voila! Here are my beautiful pieces that I made today. Start with the two frames, one with the key, the key to my heart, and the smaller one, and they look perfect together, vintage looking I think. And here is my heart, I just uh, placed it on my old looking book covers. And here, in this beautiful old world setting, I have my beautiful fabric heart hanging. Love how it turned out. And the last one in the kitchen. So tell me, what do you think of my creations today? Did you have a favorite? Let me know in the comments. If you want more inspiration straight away, head on over to my description box and hit that link to the playlist of this challenge. Just click and enjoy. Thank you so very much for watching. See you soon again in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye.